Hello everyone, this is Thomas Pop from Zaxcom, and today I'm here to teach you a little bit more about how to use your Nomad Field Mixer Recorder. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Setup button. This allows you to control the inputs in your machine, allowing you to switch it from mic to line, turn on and off phantom power as well as your limiters, and a whole bunch more stuff. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and turn on your Nomad. Now while you're booting up your machine, I want to tell you that the Nomad is a little bit different than standard recorders and mixers out on the market. In the fact that if you want to be able to switch between mic and line, or enable phantom power, turn a limiter on, or even adjust a, a low cut filter, you're going to have to use a physical hardware switch that's on the device. The Nomad is a little bit different. It's all done internally in the software. So you enable something in the software by flipping a parameter on your screen that will automatically switch it back and forth between mic or line or enable phantom power and so forth. So by now, your Nomad should be booted up. So go ahead and press the Setup button, which is located to the left of the screen. Now the first time that you press this button, you're going to notice that the Nomad defaults to Channel 1 Setup. Now if you want to change that, after you're in the setup menu, pressing any of the other buttons on the front of the screen will take you to an additional setup page for a different input. For example, pressing the Amix button will enable you to change the parameters for input 2, Znet for input 3, Bus for 4, and so forth. Now if you take a look at the Com and Slate buttons, pressing them once will take you to the first number which by pressing COM brought me to channel 7 setup. By pressing it again in succession, it will take me to channel 9 setup. And the same thing for slate, 8 and 10. Now for this video, I've plugged a shotgun microphone into input 1 on the back of the Nomad. So for these examples, let's go ahead and switch back to input 1 by pressing the timecode button so we can adjust the parameters for that input. So the first thing that you're going to notice is trim. Trim is simply your preamp. By pushing in the menu button and using the scroll wheel, you have the ability to increment or decrement in one decibel steps. Next, you have type. You have the ability to switch between mic and line. You'll notice that when you switch this, it will make a clicking sound. That's the physical hardware switching between mic and line level. If you'd like to enable your limiter, do so by switching it to on. Now remember, this is the limiter for your input gain, not your card or output buses. Next, if you're using a phantom powered microphone, you can enable phantom to on in order to supply 48 volts. The Nomad also has the ability to set a delay on your input. Do so by pushing in the menu button and using the scroll wheel to set the amount of milliseconds that you need delay for. You have the ability to set up to 100 milliseconds delay. Next, you have Mix 8 Trim. You have the ability to set it to Normal or Zaxnet. The trims on a Mix 8 control surface that plugs into the USB jack on the side of the Nomad has the ability to control one of two things, either the input trims of your Nomad or the input trims of your TRX wireless systems that are currently being controlled via Zaxnet. I'm going to explain all of this Zaxnet stuff later in another video, so let's go ahead and leave this on normal for now. The next couple options that you have are dealing with notch filters as well as high pass frequencies you have the ability to turn your high pass filter on or off as well as change the hertz that it is active at. You also have the ability to change the frequency of two different notch filters as well as enabling or disabling them. The last thing in this menu is a phase activation which allows you to set your input in or out of phase. Now the last thing that we didn't talk about inside of this setup menu is the meter at the bottom of the screen. This is your input meter 
So you will be able to tell if your input is clipping or if it's just right. And you'll notice by adjusting the trim, you will have the input go up and down. Now this is not what's going to card or going to the output buses. This is what is coming into the machine as of right now. So that's it for the setup button inside of the Nomad Mixer Recorder. Now just remember, if you have multiple sources coming into your Nomad, you're going to have to do this separately for each input of the machine. Now in a later video, I'm going to teach you about Auto Trim, which is going to help you get out of this menu instead of having to go a few buttons deep just to do one certain task. Well, congratulations. You have now learned how to use the setup button on your Nomad Mixer Recorder, which allows you to control all of the parameters for your inputs. If you have any questions, please contact us at www.zaxcom.com. Once again, my name is Thomas Pop, and in the next video, we're going to teach you how to set up your faders so they control certain inputs in your Nomad. Thanks for watching.